So in my opinion, I think that the best companions have four legs covered in fur and have wet cold noses. They're always there for you during the good and the bad times and they never judge. They keep you active and constantly laughing. And despite the puppy stages and all the house messes, you can never really stay mad at them. They bring so much joy and love to your life. Why not try to save theirs? Today I'm going to educate you a little bit about the cost difference between a rescue and a breeder, purchasing a, a dog from a breeder, inform you about the amount of homeless dogs right now in the U.S. that need forever homes, and make you aware of some of the general health concerns and restrictions that come along with purchasing a dog from a breeder. Um, right now there's so many thousands upon millions of dogs in the U.S. right now that are desperately looking for forever homes and I think it's our time to kind of give back to them the joy and the love that they bring to us. Um, if you're looking for a furry companion, I don't think you should waste, waste your money at all on buying a prestigious dog. I think that you should probably save some of your money on all the, tr the treats and the toys and all the costs that come along with having a dog because Whenever you get a dog, you're going to spoil it rotten. It becomes your child. It becomes your fur baby. So just um, some things to think about when buying a dog, not even the cost of the dog right now. We'll talk about the initial stuff that you're going to need in order to train it and just have it, let it survive. Um, the cage, you're definitely going to need to purchase a cage to house to house break it. And that can range anywhere from $100 to $200. Once you get the cage, you need a bed. The beds can range from $20 to about $100. And then you're going to need the leashes, the collars, the tags, all that. And those those break over time. So you're going to need to keep buying those during the lifetime of your of your puppy. But um, those can range from $20 to $50. Um, once you have your dog, certain cities require you f to register it. Um, that's anywhere from $0 to $30, depending on your county. Um, and then if you have a dog in an apartment, you most of the time have to put a pet deposit down. And that can range from anywhere to $200 to $500 depending on depending on your hotel or your um depending on your apartment. And then some of them whenever I had my dog in Miami, I got him. He was about $120, but I had to pay the pet fee and then I had to pay increased pet rent every month. And I think I was 50 or $20 per dog so it jumped up there so it does range but it's about 15 to 30 dollars per month added onto your room once you have a dog so you have to consider that when purchasing if you're renting those are all those are all big deals and I'm um, despite that that's just the cost of owning one to having one um, once you actually get a puppy the initial cost can range anywhere from 30 to 400 dollars depending on the Humane Society or wherever you adopt it from and then a lot of the times the Humane Society that you adopted from does include the first vet visit, but if they don't, that could also cost you about $50 to $400. So you're looking at like, you know, not a, a couple hundred dollars, I would say, a couple hundred to several hundred dollars to, to adopt one. Now, if you're looking to buy a purebred, that's where it goes up. You could buy one anywhere from $500 to $2,000. And then a lot of the uh, breeders don't include the first vet visit, so that can cost you anywhere from $100 to $300. So it's nearly quadrupled the cost just to purchase a dog from a pure, like a, a breeder, and they're going to give you the same exact love a rescue would. So you can kind of see that purchasing a puppy from a breeder is significantly more expensive than it is just to adopt one. Um, so despite the cost, there's also several thousands to millions of dogs in the U.S. right now that are needing a forever home. Approximately 6.5 million dogs in the uh, animal shelters right now are in the U.S. 6.5 million. Out of those 6.5 million, 1.5 million of the animals are euthanized. So they're put down. And out of that, it's approximately 670,000 dogs and then 860,000 cats that are put down annually. Um, and then out of the 6.5 million in the homes, 3.2 actually do get adopted out. So that breaks it down for 1.6 million dogs and then 1.6 million cats. So nearly half of them are getting adopted out, but 1.5 million are still being euthanized annually. So you can see that <laughs> there are millions of animals that need a forever home, but um, something to think about when when purchasing a purebred dog is a lot of them have uh, health concerns. 
and that's not even going into the restrictions. Some of their health concerns on um, Labrador retrievers, they're prone to hip dysplasia and bloat, and that is a disease of which the stomach becomes too full of water, food, and air, and then it starts to twist. And if you don't get it fixed, it could lead to death. So get buying a pure purebred Labrador, that's something you have to worry about. I rescued my Labrador. I didn't pay anything for her, but it's something that I need to worry about because she is a purebred, but I rescued her from a breeder. I rescued her and her sister. Um, and then a lot of these purebred dogs too have skin conditions, cataracts, spinal disc issues, and everything else with like just um, their skin and inbred. You have to worry about inbred. Um, and then at the end of the day, a continuous overbreeding of purebred dogs is leading to the pro, uh, to to making them sick longer. There's a lot of debate right now going on if uh, mixed dogs are healthier, but you can't really tell. It's just we know like they're less likely to develop breed specific diseases. So if you get a dog from a rescue, or and then and that's another thing you could also if you're looking for for a specific breed instead of adopting one. Because essentially when you buy a dog from a breeder, you're paying for them to be born. So you're telling the seller to continue breeding and bringing more and more animals into this life and then they're benefiting off of the money. So every time you pay for a breeder to breed a puppy, that's one less dog in a clinic or in a humane society that's getting a home. So if you are looking for a specific breed, you can do rescues for that breed. You could do German Shepherd rescues, you could do Husky rescues. You could, you could just about look anywhere and find a specific breed and you could do a rescue. And once again, that's half the cost of actually buying a purebred one. Same, same exact concept. Um, so alongside with the health concerns for having a, um, a purebred dog, there's a lot of restrictions as well. Some of the restrictions, it, it's, per, it's per breeder, but they, um, you can't spay or neuter them. They want to continue the bloodline, so you have to breed them out. So once again, it goes back to overpopulation. And then um, another thing is a lot of these breeders, too, depend uh, do it for the money. So they are not giving the best life to these dogs. They are overbreeding the moms until they die. They are literally just like these puppies... Most of them, if they don't get bought out, they go to the Humane Society. So once again, like you can get a really, really nice dog at the Humane Society for a quarter, a fraction of the price. So that's definitely something to think about whenever you're um, looking for a dog. Like I said, in each year, it's estimated that 2.1 millions are sold that originated from puppy mills, whereas 3 million are killed in shelters. So right now, they're like it's definitely something to think about. Um, so overall, you know, if you're looking for a dog, I think adopt, don't shop. You see the sticker, do it because you're helping overpopulation of the United States. You're giving a dog that really, really needs it a forever home, and they're so grateful for it. And you know, it's half the cost. You're probably not. Gonna, I mean, I'm not going to guarantee you won't have health concerns. Every everybody has health issues, but you're not going to have those concerns that come with the purebred dogs. So it's definitely something to think about. So. Adopt, don't shop.